Hi, this is Matt here from HowToGizmo.com. Um, today I'm going to talk about the Microsoft Illumina 640 that I've just recently got myself as an upgrade. Um, this was a, an upgrade purchased through Carphone My House. It's really quite cheap there. Uh, it's probably the best way, I think, to get this phone. Um, I did look on eBay and things, and they were selling you know, way more than they, you can buy them new. So this seemed to be the best, the cheapest option for me. Um, this was the old phone that I'm going from. Um, I had this as an upgrade as well, actually. I've got it from Phones for You, I think, at the time, and it's around 69 or 79 quid or something. And um, I was just looking after something cheap uh, to renew my iPhone. Unfortunately, my iPhone battery was going flat all the time, so I got this. And this thing's just been a workhorse. It's just gone on and on, and the battery still seems pretty good on it. Um, I'm sort of going to sad to see this thing go, to be honest, because it's been just a great phone. and. Um, the video on this was pretty good I thought and um, I've just yeah I've just used it for taking video making phone calls Wi-Fi all the time and it's been great but the one thing has frustrated me with this phone is the speed of the internet when you are uh, using 3G so uh, that's the reason it's gonna go and then the other reason I think is probably because I'm on the internet a lot I need a bigger screen so I'm going from a four inch screen to this new one with a five inch screen um, the specs of this one is basically I think it's an IPS LCD 5 inch screen with an 8 uh, megapixel camera um, on the back of it. Um, that includes a flash. It's got 8 gigabytes of internal um, storage that is upgradable. Um, this one has got 8, so there's no difference there, but you can put um, an SD card, a micro SD card in it to upgrade that to 128 if you wish to, so that's great. And this one is also uh, one of the important reasons I was after it is it's 4G basically. Um, other bonus features this thing has got is it's got a front-facing wide angle selfie camera I'm not too bothered about but uh, it's there I suppose um, <coughs> it's got other things like a special coating on the screen to prevent uh, screen prints on it um, but unfortunately I don't think this one does so if you can see that <laughs> um, <coughs> it's obviously got a better processor this one it's got a, a quad core 1.2 gigahertz um, processor in it I think it's what is it called a snapdragon is it yeah Qualcomm snapdragon processor this one was a, a 1 gigahertz so hopefully it should be a bit quicker um, for moving around windows and playing games um, other things this one has got is I uh, just have to check here yeah it can do um, maximum talk time of 17.5 hours and uh, standby time of 36 days is pretty good and I think it becomes it, this thing comes bungled with bungled bundled with um, OneDrive um, free for a year or something like that. Anyway, I've not opened this box up yet, uh, so this is the first time I'm actually going to look at it. Um, so let's just see what I actually get. Straight away, you can see a, a massive size difference there. There's quite a big difference between the two phones. Try and take this thing out now. I'll put that to the side a second to see what else is in the box. It's going to be the normal gump, so a battery, a guide, and where's the charger? I'm not sure what charger you've actually got. This is it just a standard, it's like the standard Nokia charger that comes with their phones. So that's, that's okay. All right, we'll have a look at the actual phone now and see what it's uh, what it's all about. So this is the first time I've looked at it. It's pretty thin. It's quite a big difference there actually looking at the the two. It's very light at the moment because it's got no battery in. That's your flash. Camera there. Speaker. Charging point. And um, volume. Main button. Headphone jack. Yeah, it's pretty much the same design, aren't they? The only thing that's a shame is they have, like, I've seen this in lots of videos, people have mentioned that they have removed this camera button that actually is a bit of a shame because, uh, to be honest, I didn't use it often, but it's still a nice thing to have, sort of natural holding, you know. It's a natural way to, I suppose, use a camera to have that button, so it's a shame they've taken that away. Um, right, let's see if I can put the battery in. It's got a little sticker saying, pill me. Put battery in or showing a picture to pill me. Right, 
So this is brand new, it's a bit difficult to take apart. See that battery is huge. Not sure of the specs of the battery actually. It says it's a um, 2500 milliamp hour, 3.0 volt, 9.0 watt hour battery. I think that's that's fairly that's quite big actually. So put that in. One thing that's a bit of a shame actually is these newer phones have got like just a plain old plastic back that looks like it scratches really easily. As um, this phone, I was always quite impressed with the back. It's a weird sort of rubbery material that feels quite nice to hold. It's almost grippy. Um, so that's something they've cheapened down on, I think, over the years. Right, let's try and get into this one. See the battery in this one was a fourteen thirty milliamp hour, so that's a big difference actually. Now I hope yeah, the card does uh, the SIM card should just fit in. It's a micro SD card as well, that's great. I think I've done that the wrong way around. The battery needs to go in after the SIM card. Fortunately, this phone isn't the dual SIM version. Um, it looks like in the dual SIM version, you can put a SIM in there. Right, so I suppose switch it on for the first time. It looks like not only there's a little sort of grilly speaker on the back, there's something at the front there. Oh, that must be the microphone. Right. Switching the thing on. This is the first time I've used this phone, so it may take a little bit of time on this uh, first boot. Right, that's the phone now at the welcome screen. So just basically I've got to click next. And I think the phone will then ask me to activate it. So then I've got to accept the uh, license terms and then it goes onto a screen asking me to reinstall the apps. So I'm just going to leave it. Okay, the phone is now finished installing the apps. So I'm just going to click the next button. And it says we're almost done. So I think it's just going to be next again. And another screen full of terms. Right, finally, we're at the um, main screen. So I think basically this phone comes pre installed with some apps, sort of the common ones like uh, Facebook. It's got some um, sort of Nokia Lumina or Microsoft Lumina specific applications. It's got some stuff, um, lenders with the camera, I think. And um, it's got things like Skype on there and um, Office by the looks of it. 
I think the phone comes free with um, OneDrive and 30 gigabytes possibly of online storage. What I'll probably do is, um, after I've used the phone for a few weeks, I'll probably post another video um, talking a bit about how, how I found the device, to be honest, and if, if it's better than my other phone, it, you know, more likely it is going to be, but I'll just put my thoughts across um, just to help you guys out if any of you are interested in possibly buying this phone. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, please check out uh, some of my other videos. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the next uh, video about this phone. Okay, cheers, thanks, bye.